guys, this is Dodd from Airsoft Barracks, uh, bringing you live from the 2012 Las Vegas SHOT Show. I'm here with Eric Five from the Gear Locker, and right now we are sitting in the media room. We just want to kind of do a short little video and let you guys know kind of what's going on. Uh, there's already been some things posted on the Airsoft Barracks forum about what's going on, uh, you know, the KDBA stuff, uh, some things like that. So basically, this is kind of be a, kind of like a recap. Uh, definitely think some, uh, some really cool things to come. Um, so right now I'm going to get Eric to come in and just show you guys this is just the media room. Uh, this place is enormous. It spans out multiple rooms, multiple levels. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. And hi. So, um, like I said, you know, it's, it's been a great day. It's been an extremely exhausting day. Um, Eric and I honestly just wanted to find a place to sit down because our feet are killing us. Um, so first I want to talk about the, uh, the KWA Sport Lines. Um, I can't go into much detail about it. Uh, I know they released some stuff, but I don't know exactly what they released, but um, it's going to be amazing. You know, it's, it's going to have the same 2G gearbox, uh, 2GX gearbox that the normal KWAs have. Um, it's going to be a great economical um, uh, thing for KWA. Um, it's going to be a great gun. I'm excited. They let us hold one, and it, it was nice. Um, so we'll have some more information that will come along with that. Um, so a couple other different things. The KWA Chris, um, this is actually the first time I've actually ever even put my hands on any type, you know, any of this real, non, whatever. Um, it's sick. I mean, it's super compact. It's folding stock, um, multi-shot single, two-shot, fully automatic. Um, luckily, the, well, it's not luckily for me, but the guys uh, yesterday um, at Airsoft Elemology, and I believe Eric, you got to you got to shoot it too. Yep. The uh, the KDP, or not the KDPA, but the uh, the real uh, Chris, and, and I am super jealous. Watch for a video of Steve shooting it. Just look at the grin on his face, and you can see he really, really enjoyed that gun. Um, so I'm really looking at uh, actually firing the KWA. I'm going to see if I can talk to Al and, and see if they'll let that happen. Um, a couple different new things. You got the KWA, uh, the Microsoft coming out. Uh, Tony Airsoft Barracks, I know you're going to love that one. We were thinking about you when we looked at it. <laughs> so um, another cool thing is the KWA um, ATP Full Auto. That was a surprise for me. Um, I kind of looked up. I was just chatting with Alan and just saw it. And was like, oh, so that's cool. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about the TT22, but if you guys want to check it out, it's the KWA TT22. Um, so check that out. So I'm going to move to the ESS next. Um, Eric and I stopped by the ESS booth. Um, the, 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 the gals there are excellent. I mean, just wanted to show us everything, wanted to talk to us. Eric had an issue with one that she's going to get it resolved. So it's really great upfront customer service. Um, so their new product is, is going to be the Crossbow. I got my notes here. The Crossbow Suppressor 2X. Now what this is, it was designed for the shooters in mind. So if you think about it, when you're at the range and you're shooting, you're wearing over the ear head, uh, uh, head uh, ear protection. You know the the ear socks, the ears get in the way and they can kind of press down and create pressure points. Well, the ESS went in this kind of flattened it, so they've got the two frames that come in this kit, and one of them is a is a it's a thin one. You know it works great with the ear pro, but they have another one that is it is super paper thin, and like you know she let me try it out, so I put the headset on or I put the ear uh, the eye pro on, put the ear pro on. And I was able to take them on and put them off without breaking the complete seal around my, around my ears. Now, where this translates to airsoft, you're going to have a lot of different options to, to goggles and things like that. Um, not goggles, what am I talking about? I'm tired. Um, a lot of different options with um, like helmets and stuff like that. Because anything that kind of fits close, you're going to be able to just slide it in and you're not going to have those pressure points. It's also going to be really great for extended wear. Uh, screens are popped up on it. So, um, so just kind of check those out. There. Again, it's a crossbow suppressor 2X. Um, kind of another little snippet. Uh, my favorite, the ESS Turbo fans. I've run two, two, two of them so far. One, I ran them in the ground, basically. Um, the second version I've got. So they've just come out with a new version. Um, it's going to have a, a different fan. It's going to be the exact same goggle. It's just going to have a little different fan to it. Um, they said it's going to last longer, and it's just going to be a much better fan. So, kind of check that out. Um, real quick, I'm just going to get kind of get involved. Um, the Echo One, just going to kind of recap the Echo One booth. Um, I saw a tan in 20 in 28. That was sweet. You know, I'm a tan guy. So, um, <laughs> another cool thing that I kind of caught in the corner of my eye was a mortar. It's still in a prototype phase, but. 
there's an airsoft mortar. That's all I know. <laughs> so uh, the XCR is going to come out in a long, short mini, and they're also bringing out the XCR in a um, in a tan as well. There's also, some other news about an XCR, but I can't tell you yet. Uh -huh. um, so that's kind of just a basic recap. Uh, just a quick iPhone video, just sitting here. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more. Uh, I'm going to be sitting down with Higgs uh, tonight. Most likely, we're going to do a quick kind of about a 20, 30 minute podcast uh, to shoot out. So um, again, this is uh, Doc from Airsoft Barracks. We got Eric Fine here from the Gear Locker. I'm going to steal the camera here, and there's the old Eric Fine right there, hey just guys. with. Uh, he's been uh, kind of my sidekick, maybe. Kind we've, of. we've been kind of both. Yeah. So we've had a good time. What do you think, man? You want to add anything? Uh, it's been a crazy show. It's my first year at shot. Um, yeah, I did shoot the Chris yesterday at Media Day. That was a blast. A big grin on Steve's face, big grin on my face. Um, a lot of cool stuff on the tactical gear side. Um, if you're into OBT, um, or use tactical distributors or a terrorist, a lot of fun stuff coming out. For them. But it's been a great, it's only day one. Um, can't wait to see what the yeah. is happening. <laughs> only day one. So, alrighty, guys. Well, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in. Um, like Eric said, it's day one. We still got <laughs> three, three more days to go. To go. So, um, thanks, guys, and uh, we'll keep in touch. This is Dr. Marcel Beck signing out. Take care.